Everybody alive? Why didn't they both oh, jump? If you're dead. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny, but my briefing said this was to be a covert operation. Come on. What can I say? I like to make an entrance. So plus we had no choice in it all. Charlie. It's Commander Charles Gregory to you, thanks. British Division. Yeah. X and my six, right? I kind of guess that. Is it supposed to be me? Yeah. We all are. This is Lieutenant Rachel Townsend. Hmm. Sergeant Dan Marshall, ex Special Forces. Sergeant Roy Botan, ditto. So, I'm to babysit you two then, yeah? Think you can stay out of trouble in future? Well, what can I say? They started it. Base to be to what? The London Clear Base. Sorry to burden you with my clowns. No disrespect intended, sir, but you Yanks do tend to make a lot of noise. Know what I mean? Not all of us, Gregory. Just those two. So, where's everybody else? Well, the French are already inside the city. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. Hardy har har. File Fairy <laughs> doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo, you know the only movies you watch are porn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right, with the... Mm, yeah. <laughs> hey, watch this. Oh, no, Excuse it's me. gonna be cringe. Hi, I'm Dan, and that is my partner, Bo. Ni hao. More like Dan Hibiki. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? I like that. Or she doesn't speak English. Maybe if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Oh, rough with the smooth, man. So, this is all China sent, huh? Just one woman? I am First Lieutenant Fei Li of the People's Liberation Army. My two subordinates were killed by security robots on the way here. Ow. Oh, shit, listen. We didn't mean no disrespect. Hard to believe you're the one they called a survivor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. It ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck? Well, that's good. Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. All right, Peter, one to base. Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger that. Base out. Now we need to go find the fridge. Got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. That was a long breath. The 21st century started off pretty do it. bad. And only got worse. Sea levels rose. Climate went to hell. Three Global warming! Major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Now you Local just weren't trying hard enough. authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amada Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amada lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. So did Next Amada just go, Fine the then, USA we're going to go and cause global destruction because global you stole our technology. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. 
One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> and you, this group has never met each other before. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the US suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. And this is just the opening. An hour and 30 minutes in. Wonder if we'll actually see into the main city. So far, pretty good. Weird story-ish, but they're making sense of it. Still don't understand the... It's just so weird how the now loading just shoots up. But it's a little weird how it's just like, uh, this happened a long, long time ago. Like a long, long time ago. Why exactly would he want to make the robots look like human and pass them off as human? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Right. Ooh, chapter we two. We spent the two teams from here onwards. <coughs> one in the front, one bringing up a rear. Only at least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Might I remind you that I'm in command here? Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your attitude. So... Pretty offensive for your team, Sergeant. So I can pick three. Let's see. Decoy device. High stamina and firepower. SMG, various explosives. Shotgun, RPG. <sighs> of course I want you. I could go out, go all out lethality with Charlie as he uses explosives. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, let's go. Our contact is waiting. He's rather chipper. What, what, old boy? <laughs> and what if we get busted by some scrapheads again? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? Huh. See? He's not so bad. Yo, Damn, my shotgun, you know? They got gay shit girls in this slum. Did you know that? Nope. Didn't know, huh? But don't you worry. Charlie here says he'll take us to see the gay shit girls. Yo, Charlie, don't forget you promised to take us to that bar. Yes, I'll take you if the mission ends safely. <laughs> now that's some real motivation. Surveillance bots. The pairs, they're searching for us. I don't see nothing. Our route takes us through there. Stay all right, shop. Let's see, I can get another health. 
Another defense. For Rachel. Ooh, that is really nice. Charlie, Charlie, you are going to be helpful. Could get these, but I'm not sure if I'll be using them in the future. That'll be really useful for Ally, at the very least. <coughs> <coughs> Let's see, what can I upgrade you? Just the normal stuff. Let's go ahead and bring him up. There we go. Uh, auto repair. That might be nice. Don't leave me behind. Assault next at 12 o'clock. They don't appear to have noticed us yet. Let them close in, then take the initiative. Hold your fire until I give the cue. Understood. Copy that. Take cover. Weird how we haven't seen the decoy thing until now. Probably because, ooh, tutorializing. Pistol for the win. I'm going to run back and see if I can grab up a shotgun. Oh, never mind. Sniper. I was meant to use this to take out the other sniper, but I improvised. <laughs> Don't like the sniping too much anyway, but eh. Rendezvous point with our contact should be around here. It's tidy up first. I'll see you Where? Armor. We need to think of something. 